Yeah, Sean, um, your thoughts on Dorian Thompson Robinson with his uh, first start last week? Yeah, look, I remember him because we watched a lot of him on film, you know, in the draft process. Um, you know, he's come in there. They, they do a great job with what they do offensively. He's athletic. He's he's a guy that can stress you, you know, outside the pocket. He's got a strong arm. And, um, you know, he's done what you want from a backup come in, and, and the team has continued to win. So, um, but certainly – there, there are some things that he does, um, like the, the the ones before him, even Deshaun, where you've got to be ready when plays extend. Jaleel created a, a bunch of big plays in the run game early, early in the season. Hasn't so much the last few weeks. Is that just well, look, of a rookie or he, he had uh, he had certainly there's a lot of run plays for him. Um, and I, I said this after the game, when you think about this for a second, when you're two of 11 on third down and then you, you don't have the snaps man, there's like 75% of the offense that you don't get to get to because, because you're not converting the third down. So um, yeah, we're, we're very mindful of the, the things we want to do and the things he does well. But um, I think that was a little bit of a byproduct of, 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 of not staying on the field. Coach Cleveland's forcing three and outs at a historic rate. How difficult do they make things to get, to get drives? Yeah, I mean, I would say you can take any statistic. You know, third down numbers, they're at the top of the league. Passing efficiency, they're at the top of the league. Um, and so you have this unique imbalance right now of snaps that they're getting on offense, snaps they're defending on defense. We did the red zone report today. Um, so in, in order to have a red zone opportunity, you cross the 20. Um, they're fewest in the league in defending red zone opportunities. Um, so one of the keys we felt like at the start of the week was, you know, our first and second down efficiency um, versus this defense and, and trying to minimize the minus plays. Uh, Sean, how impressed have you been with the way Cleveland has run the ball, especially losing Nick Chubb early in the season? Yeah, look, I know Bill Callahan very well. He's a good friend. I work with him in Philly. He, he helped hire me in Philadelphia. He's the line coach and run game coordinator. Um, so um, am I surprised? Not at all. Am I impressed every year when I watch them? They're, they're on the cut-up reel. We study them. Um, they've always got a very uh, – a really, really good run game plan from the sub packages to the heavy packages. Um, Wherever he's been, they've run the ball well. So, um, you know, we knew that, you know, heading into this game that this, these guys they spend a lot of time on it, and and they're they're very good at it. You talked about how special a player Miles Garrett is. What do you think that challenge is for Mike McGlinchey, and how much does it help to have Chris Manhurts and Samaj P. running? Well, he lines up more left than right. All right, so the challenge on the left side for us, uh, obviously, is Garrett. Um, yeah, he's having a season where um, I don't pay attention to awards, but I, I, I've not seen a defensive player as impactful uh, this season on tape. And uh, and he, he he's changing games. Um, so you have to have a protection plan. You have to understand where he is. Now, he'll come over to the other side periodically, and, and sometimes he'll line up inside and rush the center of guard. Um, but he's he's a dominant player. And and not only on defense, he's gone on field goal block and blocked the kick. He's you know, so this guy is um, something else. Coach, uh, how's uh, PJ Locke progressing? Is he? Yep, all good. We'll just day to day take it. All right, thank you guys.